Have you ever wondered why some people are great conversationalists while others struggle with it? Are those who tend to have an easier time making friends and growing closer to other people more gifted with the skill? Well, contrary to what most people might believe, being good at conversations doesn't actually have to do with extroversion or confidence, says clinical psychologist, Dr. Stephen Melendy. Because just like every other kind of social skill, it's one that can be learned and perfected with practice. And if you've seen the viral 36 questions to fall in love, psychology experiment on YouTube, then you'd know it works to deepen just about any kind of relationship too, even with complete strangers. With that said, if you've been wanting to impress a special someone with your great conversation skills, but don't quite know how to go about it, look no further. Here are some topics to spark great questions with a crush, according to psychology experts. Number one, passions and hobbies. What would you do with an extra 10 hours a week? What would be the topic of your New York Times bestselling book? Rachel Moban Wachel, licensed marriage therapist, says that picking up on a person's specific interests is key to getting them to open up to us, because in a way we're all our best and truest selves when we talk about the things that really interest us and spark our passion. So you can ask what most would consider cliche, like what's your favorite way to spend your time or what would you love learning about and why? Just be sure to show curiosity and encourage them to talk more about it, to really deepen the conversation. Who knows, you might end up finding tons of similar interests. Number two, work or studies. What happens if you don't know the person that well yet? Try asking them about their work or studies. Now we know most people might feel that questions like these are boring and generic, but according to psychotherapist, Dr. Joe Sanok, these topics can be great conversation starters too. Perfect, because if you're still getting to know your crush, it's better to start with something small and simple to gradually build comfort, trust, and depth in your relationship. Just what we needed, right? You can make it more interesting by asking things like, have you been working on any cool projects lately? Did anything interesting happen at work or school today? And what's it like working in this certain company or going to this certain school? What do you like about it? Number three, pop culture. If you're still testing the waters and keeping things casual with your crush, talking about pop culture can be a great way to get them to warm up to you and get to know them better. Just phrase your question in a more interesting way. An article for Psych Central written by health and wellness journalist, Hilary Labau and reviewed by therapist, Dr. Jennifer Littner has a few good examples you can borrow. Like if you could be best friends with any famous person, who would it be? What books, movies, albums have had the biggest influence on you? And which fictional character do you like or relate to the most? Number four, themselves. Another great strategy you can try your luck with is getting your crush to talk about themselves by asking thought-provoking open-ended questions. Wondering what these might look like? We have a list to get you started. For example, what's your favorite thing about yourself? How would your closest friends describe you? What does the perfect day look like to you? What would be the title of your memoir? What's your dream vacation? And what are the experiences that shaped you the most as a person? Questions like these work because according to professional marriage and family therapist, Kimberly Panganaman, the goal of every good conversation is to learn new things about one another and personal questions such as these can help bring about the deepest connection. Number five, personal growth. Asking the other person about their personal growth can make any conversation more engaging. Just be sure that you're both at a place where you're really ready to be vulnerable with one another. Sharing from a place of vulnerability is how to truly get to know someone, says Dr. Megan Fleming, clinical psychologist and sex therapist. Connecting with others is all about our willingness to be truly seen, which comes from sharing our most embarrassing, challenging, and often most difficult moments. So try your best to keep it positive and show empathy when you ask your crush things like, what your biggest achievement is so far, or what personal accomplishment are you proudest of? What's the best way life has surprised you? And what are you most thankful for right now that you didn't have before? Whatever topic you choose to go with, just keep in mind these important tips from Kendra Cherry psychology writer and educational consultant for Very Well Mind, and mastering the art of conversations. Ask interesting, open-ended questions, get a good feel for what's appropriate to the situation, if they're ready to get deeper, or if it's better to keep the tone light for now. Strike a balance by making small talk before going deep, or sharing your own answers too, and always convey interest, engagement, openness, and friendliness as best you can. If you found this video helpful, please like and share it with your friends as well. Until next time, remember to hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with our latest videos and take care. Thanks for watching.